Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Fafusha Dolls. I'm super excited today. I'm gonna show you how to create a traveler's notebook. I have been looking at these notebooks for a while and I've been really wanting to make one. So I created this tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. For supplies, you're going to need 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, paper cutter, bamboo skewer, mod podge, two millimeter, 9 by 12 inch foam sheet, elastic cord, eyelets and an eyelet setter, beads and charms, lobster clasps, foam brush, small brush, round corner puncher, acrylic paint, it's optional, scissors, binder clips, jump ring and pliers. Let's get started. The size of the traveler's notebook is 8.5 by 11. I have included a template with the eyelet guide. So print out the sheet and place it over a 12 by 12 sheet and that will serve you as your guide. Cut the sheet to 8.5 by 11, and you will also cut the foam sheet 8.5 by 11. Now with a round corner puncher, you will punch each corner of the sheet and the foam sheet. You will have nice rounded edges. And after that, we're going to start to glue it down. In this step, I put Mod Podge over the foam sheet with a foam brush. I'm using parchment paper below just to protect my surface. This can get a little messy. So make sure you just spread it out evenly across the entire foam sheet. Now place the scrapbook paper over the foam sheet. Gently press it down. Here I'm using a ruler to make sure I have no air pockets and to make sure that the sheet is adhered to the foam sheet. Now the fun part. Here you will do a coat of Mod Podge. Use a foam brush and gently place it over the scrapbook sheet. Distribute it evenly you will wait for it to dry and then you will apply a second coat. Now that it has dried, I'm going to cut the edges to make sure the scrapbook paper is completely aligned with the foam sheet. You might have a little tiny gap and that's okay. You could trim it down with a pair of scissors. Here I cut a rectangular shape and it's three and a quarter by one and a quarter or you could do three and a quarter by one inch however you prefer. This will just help you protect the, the actual traveler's notebook from the elastic band. So I'm going to round the edges again and I'm going to follow the same procedure. I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge onto the foam sheet and the scrapbook paper and again you're going to do two coats Mod Podge over the scrapbook paper. Now this is optional. Here I decided to put some acrylic paint. You could do a floating technique or a dry brush technique. I just had a paper towel on hand and decided to just give it a little shadow effect with a darker color. Mm -hmm. 
Now this step is very important. You will need to have a small brush and you're going to seal the edges. You make sure those edges have plenty of Mod Podge on them. You want your traveler's notebook to last you. So you would do two coats. Now you will need some binder clips. You can place your template onto your fully dried uh, notebook now. And with a foam sheet, you can protect it so the binder clip does not indent the notebook. So I used a little scrap of foam sheet as you can screen and I placed a total of four binder clips. This will help you align the template and set your eyelids. Pierce through with an owl or you can use a thumbtack or a needle. Make sure you fully pierce through. It is a little thick. Now with my eyelid setter, I place my center eyelid and I will do the also the top two and the bottom two. Now for the band, you will need to also set the eyelids. You could just center it with a ruler and on the top you could use a quarter inch clearance and the bottom also a quarter inch. That will serve as a guide. Or you could use a half inch measurement as well. Now with the elastic cord, go from the back of the book to the outside, loop it around and then go back inside. Then back outside, then back inside and you will now tie it. Now make sure your elastic cord is not too tight or too loose. Take into account the notebook inserts. Also, with a lighter, you can burn the edges to avoid fraying. Now you would insert the elastic cord onto the strap. You would put it over the strap. Remember, this will protect the traveler's notebook. Now to get the correct width, you just make sure the, the eyelet from the center the eyelet on the bottom matches the length of the cord. Now I'm going to insert the bead. Now I'm going to tie it into the notebook from the front of the notebook into the back. Now place your notebook inserts. Now this is my finished traveler's notebook. With a jump ring and a pair of pliers, I added all those charms. And the lobster clasp, I attached it onto the elastic cord. I truly love it. Here I made a mini version. Those are those books I bought at Michael's. Do you remember Come Shop With Me, the video I made just a couple days ago? And here is my other one. I am so hooked on making these. I think everyone in my family is going to get one now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Thank you for spending your time with me. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Tell me what you think. Also, don't forget to visit my Etsy shop and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.